Let's go. All right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our Monday AMA. Um, we have a bunch of things to talk about today, actually. So we'll get right into it. Hope everybody had a great weekend. We're shaping up to have a pretty... Oh, let me put my notifications on Do Not Disturb. One second. Sorry about that. It was going to drive me crazy. I was getting a million texts a minute for some reason. Um, yeah, we have a bunch of things to talk about. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Um, as I was saying, we're shaping up to have a pretty strong week this week with the breeding release that's coming up. Um, firstly, I want to talk about that. I put a message inside of our um, Telegram about half an hour ago, I wrote, hi guys, working on some last minute optimization and tweaking to the breeding. We're going to let you know 12 hours in advance to the definitive launch time. Stay tuned. So kind of just to clarify on that here, I'll pin that in case anybody wants to look back on it later. Kind of to clarify on that, uh, we have some very bullish things that we have added to the breeding last minute and the, the, the collection for the crates uh, last minute. So we're, it's gonna be launching with, I believe like, I can't remember the number exactly, but I think it's like 80 to 100 extra traits that people are gonna be able to choose from. Um, which, you know, most of them are gonna be like common and rare and whatnot, but still the important thing is like the customization will be there. So that's being optimized in right now. So it kind of really added a whole bunch of new traits to, to the system, especially when the crates and stuff go live too, and when the armory goes live. So we won't have to kind of like update that later down the line. It'll already be, be live once breeding goes live. So we're still trying to get breeding optimized to, to go today, but there's a plethora of different issues that have to do with gas. And that, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but gas today has been pretty insane. And for us to generate these, because because we're paying a lot of the gas on um, deploying the contract and deploying uh, the breeding and whatnot. So keep in mind when we breed, we generate like eight different NFTs at the same time. Um, you guys don't pay the gas for that. Um, the, the gas for that has to be optimized. So so that's a little obstacle that that is. You know, that's fine. Everything's accounted for. But just for some reason today, the gas fees are like through the roof and it would really break the bank. So we're waiting for that to dwindle down. But if for any reason breeding doesn't come today, it, it'll come anywhere between the next 24 to 48 hours. But what, what we've done is like um, we wrote in the telegram that will give you guys a 12 hour advance before it goes live. Just so no one misses it, because I know some people are like, "Yo, I want to be the first person to breed." Sorry, guys, if you're not gonna, if you're not gonna ask a question, please mute your mic. Yeah, there's the link in the chat. Which chat? Which chat are you referring to? Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, anyway. Um, Breeding is looking looking pretty badass. Tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, probably within. The, yeah, actually tomorrow. So tomorrow, what I'm going to release is I'm I'm making a tutorial video on how the breeding is going to work, and I'll pin that in our Telegram and Discord chat. So I'll pretty much walk I'll pretty much walk you guys through step by step on how to breed with a video walkthrough. So. Um, it's very, very simple and everyone can do it without a video, but I'm going to make it anyway, because there is a 100% going to be people who are going to ask me that question. And I rather have the content out for you guys rather than have to explain it every single time that that question arises. Um, but yeah, I mean, everything is, everything is looking crazy guys. Everything is looking looking good and we're super super excited if if everything gets optimized and everything dwindles down as far as gas goes today then we'll be more than happy to release it in the next few hours but honestly it doesn't seem like that's we're not too hopeful on that just because of the amount of stuff that's compiling and being added like with all the traits and with all the stuff so probably another 
probably another day. So in true Shiba Doge fashion, always late, but worth the wait. You guys know we're never on time. <laughs> Ever since day one, we were always <laughs> lags and we always uh, we always delay shit. But um, yeah, <laughs> always late, but worth the wait. Now, I'll get into some pretty crazy news. Well, not news, but a topic of discussion that I kind of want to bring up. Um, everyone says when bull run, when bull run, when bull run. And this is full speculation. This is just my opinion. None of it is financial advice. Absolutely none of it. Never is, never will be. I personally think the fallouts from the banks that are happening and all the uncertainty and all this is going to trigger a crypto bull run. We already saw a sign of that. We already saw a sign of that happen with Bitcoin uh, surging 20% overnight based off of the, the, the banking stocks uh, taking a shit. So some people are saying it's a bull trap. Honestly, I don't think it's a bull trap because no one's really going balls deep right now. What, what they are doing is they're literally withdrawing their money from banks. No one feels safe leaving their money in a bank. This is like, I feel like the fallout of, of um, Silicon Valley, Valley Bank is going to trigger other fallout. So, so here's what happened, right? Silicon Valley Bank, I think it was like the 15th or 16th largest bank in the world or in the United States, whatever. And these people, they, they work mainly with startups, tech companies, um, what else? Anyway, you know, businesses of that sort. They went from like not that big of a bank to becoming a massive bank in 2019, 2020, and 2021. Why did they do that? Because tech companies and startups literally went crazy. They went, they went balls to the walls, right? You had, um, you know, tech stocks up like 2000% or some crazy things like that. Anyway, so Silicon Valley Bank went from, you know, doing like $30 billion a year in deposits to doing $180 billion in deposits, which was like a massive, massive number. And what they did is they got all that money, all that money that was being deposited into their bank. They put all of it, invested all of it into mortgage bonds and, and um, uh, real estate bonds and you know things of that nature. And it didn't work out that well for them. The interest rates went up like crazy. Their investments didn't do well. And in 48 hours, we saw an entire bank fall apart. Guess what can't fall apart? Bitcoin. That can't happen. You get what I'm saying? Like no one, no one controls all of Bitcoin. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, there are whales, there's this, there's that. But the, decentral, the decentralization of the financial system is what people are going to be uh, bullish about moving forward. Now, why do I think this is going to cause a chain reaction to some other smaller banks? Like, I don't think it'll happen to like JP Morgan Chase. I don't think it'll happen to like the top 10 banks or top, top five banks in the world. I don't think that's going to happen. It might not even happen to other banks. This is all just my opinion. But I think um, a lot of people are down. A lot of banks are actually down on their investments by a lot and they're getting liquidated left and right. Now, the government came in and bailed this one out, right? They kind of like mopped the floor with it. Oh, nothing ever happened. You guys didn't see shit. Everything is good. This was just, you know, uh, a typo or whatever, <laughs> right? Uh, they, they, they protected, they bailed them out, right? They, they bailed them out. But FUD is a very, very, very strong tool. We've seen how it works in crypto. Now, imagine how much worse it is when... It's with the entire banking system, right? People are lining up in front of the banks to pull their money out. And it just, it, it doesn't translate over to, to a healthy financial system. So I don't know. Um, kind of like that, that's just me filling you guys in on what I, my take on the situation is. But what I did get out of all this is a much stronger use case for crypto. Bitcoin, Ethereum, even Shiba Doge and Burn. Um, I think the next step is going to be a strong push into decentralized finance. 
And I think we've spent the last year and a half almost building an amazing reputation for ourselves and building an amazing community for ourselves. And, you know, once that next wave of the bull run comes through, I think we're going to be set up for mass adoption, boys and girls. Um, I think we're, we're going to be seeing some pretty historical things happen in the next few months to a year. We'll see how that goes. Obviously, an entire bank fell apart in 48 hours. So you, you can only imagine how quick things happen when they happen, right? Um, things happen in the blink of an eye. That you can literally fall asleep and wake up and, and your life could be changed for the good or for the worse. You never, you don't know. But the important thing is to not be alone through the process of that. That's why we've done such a, um, we've put such a strong effort into building an amazing community of like-minded people that can actually prosper together. Uh, you know, we share our successes together. We sh share our failures together. But the important thing is we always do it together. And <clears throat> I think, you know, when, when, when we all put our brains together, uh, especially after all of the, this products and everything that we have coming out this month comes out, um, I think we're going to be set up in a very strong strategic place where, okay, we've been talking about these products for the last, you know, six to eight months. They're finally out. Now it's time to just, you know, uh, get back to business as far as um, bringing people on board for mass adoption. Um, staying back on track to kind of like make sure that the the token prospers as well because the token needs to prosper too, not just the NFTs. Both tokens, Burn and Shiba Doge, need to prosper too. So obviously we've been putting a lot of TLC, tender love and care, into the NFT project, but we're going to be focusing um, a lot more on the token too after the NFTs and the products and stuff that we've been working on for the past, past few months are finally live this month. And I think we're shaping up to see a very, very strong push into the next um, chapter of, of where Shiba Doge Labs is headed. And I, I mean, you guys should all be proud to be a part of it. Obviously, I've been getting a lot of messages um, and you guys have been even seeing these uh, a lot of these messages in, in our general Telegram chat. Or a lot of people are just stepping in. People I haven't seen in, in months or people I've never seen before. They just hopping in, um, you know, ever so often and saying, hey, guys, just want to send a shout out and thank you to the community and the devs for, you know, always delivering on, um, on what they say they're going to deliver and, and continuing to stay on top of the project. You know, it's been a year and a half that I'm a holder and, um, you know, uh, every other project I got into at that time last year is that is, is gone. It's not even there anymore. So. Those type of messages, they really motivate me, man. It makes me feel like, you know, people are, yeah, they might be silent. They're behind the curtain. They're not the people who, who are in the community doing things every single day. But we do need to understand for, you know, almost a lot of the communities, 99% of the, 1% uh, of the community does 99% of the work, right? So it's like, there are people behind the curtain that watch every single day but they don't talk. But then when they do come in and talk and they say things like, Hey, you know, we, 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 we love the dedication. We love the hard work you guys are putting in. We love the community. We love the project. Those types of things are really impactful because it's not coming from, you know, people that we talk to every single day. Cause we already know the opinions of people that we talk to every single day. But when we get the opinions from people who are just like, you know, in and out every, uh, you know, once in a while, um, it makes it, it gives you more validation, you know, like, hey, OK, we are on the right track. People just because people are kind of quiet on the sidelines doesn't mean they don't know uh, they don't see the, the effort that we're putting in. So I don't know, guys. What I do know is the world is in a pretty sketchy spot, but um, DeFi and and crypto is in honestly in the driver's seat right now because. People are going to be looking for options and there ain't really many other options out there for them. You know, you got gold, you have crypto, you have whatever oil, let's say like those are those are um, types of currencies, you could say. But who's going to be who's going to be taking a barrel of oil around with them in their back pocket to try to buy some lunch? You know, no one's going to do that. <laughs> so and no one's going to be walking around with 
um, you know, bricks of gold in their pockets either. So what's the what's the next viable option? Uh, crypto, uh, Chiba Doge. <laughs> um, I'm reading the chat right now. People are asking, is breeding out? Uh, breeding, we will announce when it's going to come out uh, 12 hours prior to its release. There is some last, last like I said earlier, there's some like last minute optimizations and stuff that are that are being done right now. So we'll give you guys an official announcement in the chat about 12 hours before it announce, uh, comes out. And guys, please, if you want to breed and gas prices are extremely high because they're extremely high right now. I don't know how they'll be tomorrow or the day after, but right now, just because of the sudden surge that's happening in crypto right now and you know ETH rallying and everything else rallying, gas is really high. If gas is high when it's time for you to breed and you're not comfortable with it, don't do it. Wait. Wait for gas to go down because you, you're, you're not going to – you're not going to like lose, you're not going to miss out on anything by being one of the first to breed, right? You're not going to miss out on anything. Don't overpay when you don't have to. There's a point that, you know, uh, that why this is free and why, you know, this is a, a free option for people. So it's like, don't overpay on gas if you don't have to. If you're comfortable paying it, then fine. I don't care. You know, do, what, do what you want. But just to be clear, you're not going to miss out on anything by, by not breeding if, if, uh, if gas is through the roof. So, just you know, throwing that out there, guys. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to hop in at any time. I'm just kind of like skimming through through Discord and Telegram, trying to see if people have anything they wanna they wanna ask. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yep. What's up, brother? Yes, yeah, so I had a question. I was gonna ask you. So in the future. Like let's say like after we all breathe and all of that is finished, like will the non breeded NFTs like you think it will be worth more if we don't breed some of it? I don't know if it'll be worth more or less. That's not the 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 point, but I do think they will have a different type of value uh, because people will be out there hunting for unbred NFTs. And I'm glad you asked that because one of the things we're working on right now in this last minute optimization thing is actually pulling out a um, a web page for people to be able to check um, the NFTs to see if they've been bred or unbred. Um, that's something that's going to take a little bit of a uh, elbow grease to get um, added into OpenSea because we have to wait for OpenSea's approval to let us um, change that metadata. So we're we're gonna release a web page on our website where you guys could go in and type in like Doge number, you know, four twenty, Doge Army number four twenty, and it'll tell you whether it's been bred or not. So I'm glad you brought that up too, man. Okay, thank you. No problem, man. I have a question. Yeah, shoot. Go for it. So I know we're mostly focusing on I'm not gonna say mostly, but I'm going to say mostly, mostly focusing on the NFTs currently when it comes to development right now. I'm just wondering, um, is there any, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm trying to ask this like every AMA. Is there any update on the staking stuff yet or are you still working on that? Yeah. So, so, um, obviously, like I said, we're going to be releasing all those PDFs and stuff. Uh, I'm telling you like, that's literally next in line. We're just right now super, super laser focused on getting these products out because we are working with, you know, a AAA studio for the UX and UI design. And that's costing us thousands and thousands of dollars per day for them to just work on this. So we're, even though this is like a free feature that's being added to, to your guys' NFTs, I think we've spent close to like, I don't know, maybe 300 to four hundred thousand dollars just on getting this breeding stuff to work, so a lot of money has went into it. Um, and at this point, we're at the very final stages of getting getting everything released. So we're laser focused on that. But once all that is out this week, and then the uh, that's off of the, the weight of that is off of my shoulders. We'll go straight into a staking AMA. We'll let everybody know what to expect out of the staking season. Staking season's not going to go live until after the, the the crates go live anyway. So I mean, really, nothing to nothing to to 
um, rush for. But uh, honestly, what I could tell you is it's going to be very, very, very similar to to what you guys saw in season two anyway. So, you know, those numbers are just going to be kind of like to, to reinsure uh, what you guys are getting um, when you see it. But if, if you kind of just like look at what we had released for season two, it's going to be pretty, pretty similar to that. Thank you. Also, um, I'm just, I'm trying to get like a feeling for it. Um, I know the numbers in season two. I'm just wondering, um, do you think they'll probably be like lessening as the token value goes up? I'm just asking because I don't know. Um, well, that's the point. Um, we never kind of uh, wanted to lessen them based off of the token value going up because the whole point of it is to you know get a fixed amount of tokens so that if the token value does go up, it becomes more beneficial to you as a holder to own those NFTs because now you're getting the same amount of tokens but they're worth more. So um, you know that's always been the that's always been the intention. So you know even when even when we first started the first season. Uh, people were making calculators saying like, hey, you know, I'm getting X amount of tokens. It'll be worth X amount at this market cap. And then it will be worth X amount if we 10X to uh, this market cap. So so that's still the that's still the intention. Okay, thank you. I just wanted to make sure because that was a question I've had for like the last five days. <laughs> yeah, no, I, for sure. I, I mean, that's what, that's what we want to see. We want to see... We want to see that, like me personally, like truly, I do want to see the market cap explode so that our, our holders can kind of like get a, a immense benefit out of, you know, those seasons and, and get like a very, very bullish sentiment off of it. Like who doesn't want to see their community win, right? Like I, that's definitely what I want to see. And it's just a matter of time, you know, like. The, the the road bumps with the bear market, the road bumps with you know the uncertainty that happened in crypto. Like, you know, it, it, the important thing is we never gave up, and the important thing is we got more motivated than ever. And even though our backs were against the wall and everybody else was closing up shop, we decided to double down. We decided to go harder, and that's just how much we believe in our project, and that's how much we believe in our vision. Obviously, we kind of have the money to sustain this as well, but that's not even the point. We wouldn't be wasting time doing something that didn't have a future. And we know, we know that what we're building here has a massive potential and has a massive future ahead. So, I mean, we're just glad to have everybody on board. Thank you. No problemo. By the way, Roof, is this a better time for you now that, that, that the AMAs happen at 10 instead of 11? Is that better for you now? Yeah, yeah, man. That's cool. That's not a problem. 10 or 11. <laughs> yeah. is, is it 11 at night or morning for you right now? Night. Night. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you're a late sleeper. I used to be yeah. like that too, man. I used to I used to sleep at like 3, 4 in the morning. I don't do that anymore. I'm I can't, a, can't yeah. do it like I used to. I'm a night owl, man. It's like I loved it. I, I, yeah. I was. I was just gonna I also, say, sorry. I, I was just gonna say, even if I um manage to start sleeping early, and then I'll do it for a couple, about a week, and then I get back to my night owl routines again. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. Can't. Yeah, but if it's something What's important, up? I can do it. Uh, catalyst. That was. Yeah. Um. I just wanted to share the sentiment that Leo shared along the lines of like, I have a stronger feeling that we're just seeing like, I'm going to say the tip of the iceberg, only it's really like the base of a mountain when it comes exactly. to how the markets are going to do for the next couple of months, I would say. I even convinced my own mother to, you know, go in with me a little bit. So, and she's not a fan of crypto, but she understands the benefits. So, you don't have to I, be a fan of it to know that you know it's the future, man. Uh, I mean, I, I, even my parents, like, 
So, so my parents and 99% of my family don't know the successes that, that I've had in crypto. They don't even know, they don't even know that I'm a part of this project. That's how decentralized I like to keep it. <laughs> um, my parents and my family know I'm successful, but they know that I have successful businesses. They know that I have successful investments and whatever, but it doesn't amount to like, you know, like I was a, one of the top holders in Shiba Inu and you know, I made a ridiculous amount of money. So like all of the businesses that I could have aren't even um, uh, comparable to the amount of money that, that that I had made just in Shiba alone. So I kept that under wraps. I kept that under uh, like a, like just a secret between me and my wife. She's the only person other than, you know, um, the guys, Peter, Alex, Max and stuff. Uh, they're the only people who know. But the point is, um, there's a reason why these uh, coins even reach the certain amounts of market cap and reach the certain amount of holder base and, and whatnot is because there are thousands, millions even of people out there that believe in crypto. And if it were just a gimmick, they wouldn't, those millions of people wouldn't believe it. And the market cap wouldn't have reached $2 trillion in market cap. That's not a $2 trillion in market cap is no longer a gimmick. That's already something that's like a massive potential, right? Um, and what was I going to say? I just completely blanked out on, on my next next point of things here. But wow. Yeah, I just had a brain fart. But regardless, um, I'm now I'm stuck trying to remember what I was going to say because, you know, it's always the most important things that you forget. And anyway, um, the potential that, that crypto has over the next like two to five years to become the the go to currency for people is through the roof, because honestly, all it's going to take is banks to be like, hey, let's just let's just hop on board the crypto train. Let's just regulate and, and just adopt. And once that happens, literally once that happens, the, the projects and the, the tokens and the protocols that have done it right from since day one are the people who are going to see the full benefits of that. Not just the projects, but like the, those, those communities, right? Like Ethereum, Bitcoin, Shiba Doge. Like I'm putting ourselves on that list because we've strategically done everything right from the get go, from the beginning. We make sure to check everything that we do to make sure that we're always compliant we're always legal we're always doing things right and we never try to do wrong by anyone so we're trying to create one of the most honest spaces in the um ecosystem and that alone my friends is going to have an immense value in the future because the world is a scary place out there but if you could create a safe haven people will come and there's power in numbers and honestly whether that translates to the millions and dollars or millions of dollars who knows but the important thing is we're going to be building a massive community here and if you guys are here with the let's say we reach a million people in our community you guys are going to be like holy crap i'm part of one of the biggest communities in all of crypto in all of crypto so that's something to be proud of just just that alone right and obviously if you, we get a million holders or a million people in our community then we're going to be a completely on a completely different level. So, you know, just throwing that out there. Obviously, we're still extremely early, but when mass adoption uh, hits, then you know, it's it's just GG. It's game over. We're all going to be in the driver's seat. So, right now, it's a bumpy road for for everyone. You know, like I said, a lot of people closed up shop, but we doubled down. We went harder. We went stronger. We built an amazing community. We educated our community uh, a lot. Of, over the past year and i'm very glad that we spent the time to do that you know not just me or or the rest of the team but like even the people who are knowledgeable in the community like to share their knowledge and it's a snowball effect man it's just like such a positive place to be you know there's a lot of toxicity in this space uh and you don't see that in our project you don't see that in our chats you don't see that in our videos you don't see that in even the tone of uh, uh uh, the tone that people speak on on voice chat. So I'm just very proud to be a part of this project. I'm very proud to be uh, to have met a, a lot of you guys, and I'm very proud to to continue building here. And that's pretty much all I can say. 
you know, we have a bunch of a bunch of cool products coming out, but those products are not going to be what defines us as a community. The community is what defines us as a community and the leadership that, that we bring to the table is, um, I'll, in my opinion, I want to say, I didn't know that I'd be this, I don't want to say good, because I don't even know if I'm good. You guys will determine that as a leader, but um, I feel like... I, I didn't even know that I'd be able to fit in this job description to kind of come on and, and give you guys, you know, a, le a leadership role or the AMAs. But, you know, just the birth of this project alone kind of put me in that position and I was able to embrace that position and I was able to, um, you know, get to a spot where I'm comfortable. And honestly, the the, the respect that you guys show and, and vice versa um, really gives me the confidence to, to continue do confidence to continue doing this every week and honestly even even if i'm late one minute to an ama i feel bad <laughs> which is why i'm never late i've probably only been late like i don't know maybe like two or three times ever but regardless um you, you guys know we love you guys we everything we do we do it for you guys as well um well i'm not gonna completely sound i, I don't want to sound selfish but we also do it for ourselves too because we do want to build that legacy. You guys know this. It's no secret. We do want to build that legacy. We do want to be known in the space for, you know, creating one of the biggest projects uh, ever. Uh, and we're not going to rest until that happens. But truly, the number one reason why we do this is because we like changing people's lives in a positive way. That's always been the, the mission statement from day one. And that's going to be the mission statement forever. Um, we want to change people's lives for the better. A lot of negativity in the world. Let this be the one positive space that doesn't have to deal with all that negative bullshit out there. So, I mean, that's that's always been that's always been the goal, guys. And yeah, thank you. I just I really appreciate everything the devs do for us, and I appreciate this community. So, thanks everyone. Thank you. Any other questions, question. guys? Yeah, I have a question. I was just wondering about staking again. Um, just a question I was thinking about. Uh, so, like, let's say, like, last season it was three months long. And let's just say I earned just, let's just, you know, estimate. Let's just say I earned $1,000. Now, if this if this season's going to be six months long, would I earn $2,000 twice as much since it's twice as long? Um, maybe, I don't know if it's necessarily going to be twice as long. I think it's going to be like maybe about two months, month and a half, two months longer, something like that. Um, okay. but you, you might earn, um, more or less, I don't know exactly how your, your, um, your loadout looks like, but you know, since uh -huh. we did fix, since we did fix that, um, Wait, burn that allocation thing, I don't know if you'll be getting burn tokens yeah, for all of your NFTs since they have, they have to be paired up. So yeah, that's something are. to... Yeah, so if they're paired up, then it should be it should be similar to what you got before. But but like I said, you know, when we have that AMA after um, this week is all said and done, and all our products are out, um, we'll you'll time. get all the information you need. Yeah, but it you know, I mean, it's not really going to be much different than what you're used to. Yeah, I'm just like saying like the basically like the time frame. You know what I mean? Instead of doing, you know, instead of doing three months, since it's it may be a little longer, so you probably would get more, you know, coin. Because it's a little yeah. longer. The the only thing we did change just to sustain the staking pools a little for the, the longer period of time is um the privates are gonna be earning a little bit less than what they uh -huh. previously were. But everything else I, I think is pretty much the same. Um I do know the privates are gonna be earning a little bit less though. But okay. um it, it'll it'll kind of make up for it for the length of the season anyway, right? So it's, you know, it's a longer uh -huh. season, so it's at the end it, it'll come out to the same thing. I got gotcha. you. And then um, another question. Burn is looked like it really took off today. So that was nice to see. Yeah. Yeah. So as you guys know, we, we um, did another buyback. Um, we haven't burned them yet, but we're going to burn those tokens too. Uh, we did, uh, I believe it was like a 50000 almost a $50,000 buyback um, oh. on Burn. And that kind of created a snowball effect of people buying. Um, oh. But that's the whole point of Burn, guys. Burn got listed on Bitmart. Burn's going to get listed on a lot more exchanges moving forward, um, big exchanges. 
we're in the talk we're in talks with a lot of big exchanges for burn and um we're actually we're actually talking to some big players in the space for how to kind of um build on our vision for burn and kind of getting some guidance and consulting from you know some of the um bigger names i'm not going to say who but some of the bigger names in the space we've had meetings with and they've seen our burn project and they're very interested and they kind of want to give guidance and you know we have we have a lot of pretty powerful friends out there um who know a lot of great people so uh yeah burn is burn is um one of our top prior priorities i mean our number one priority right now is getting all these products out once these products are out we're going to have probably a not probably for sure we're going to have a a lot more time to focus on the entire ecosystem and not have to deal with these UI UX devs and uh, web two devs. And I mean, guys, you guys don't know what we've went through to get the, these EFTs and the breeding out. It, it, we never talk about how hard it is, but it's a shit show. Like dealing with the amount of people that we're dealing with, like 50 plus people on, on calls when we're on calls trying to walk through, um, you know, building this thing out, working with, um, you know, AAA studios to, to, to find, like make everything literally spending like five grand a day just to keep the operation, uh, for building it going. Right. Like it's been, it's been a roller coaster, but we're finally wrapping things up. So we're trying to stay laser focused on, on making sure everything finishes. So then we can finally take a huge breath and kind of like continue, um, you know, our, our efforts back into to marketing and get, getting that mass adoption that we've always wanted. Well, I just want to thank you. You guys have done a great job. I think it's going to be awesome. I think everybody's going to love it. It's something new. It's great. Thank For you. sure, man. No problem. Yeah, no problem. Um, Seasick asked in the chat, can you touch on the Shinja uh, ac acquisition a little bit? Um, yeah, for sure, man. So we've given our, our offers, right? Uh, we gave a plan A and a plan B. Plan B we don't really want to do, but we just gave it anyway because, you know, if all else fails, then that's probably what we would resort to. But to be honest with you, man, the more the more due diligence I've done on the project, the more I'm uncovering and the more uncomfortable I feel kind of getting involved. Legal hasn't gave me a full um, clearance yet, but what they are telling me isn't things that I'm liking so far. Uh, it does look like it comes with a boatload of liability. So honestly, uh, it, it may have sounded like a good deal in the beginning, but you know, as the more DD we've we've been doing, it, it is becoming more questionable. But that doesn't mean it's completely off the table yet. Um, if if something, I mean, if they accept our offer to accept Plan A, then we'll be more than happy to kind of step in and 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 kind of just like add that community to our ecosystem. Maybe not do a merge because I don't think that's going to be the right move. Um, but I don't know, like the liabilities that come, there's, there's just been too much things that have went on in that project that are kind of pretty detrimental. And that's, that's just from the, the DD that we've done. Now, if our due diligence kind of checks out at the end, even though we've uncovered some things that we don't like, and let's say like legal does clear it, then what we still want to do is we want to hire a professional to do their due diligence um, through a professional standpoint, like somebody that will pay to do it and then review what they find and compare it to our findings and see if all of that still checks out. And then we finally move forward. But at the end of it, no matter what, at the end of it, whether we make this deal or not, I think we got a pretty decent um, uh, amount of publicity out of it, right? Like the whole markets were falling apart and Chiba Doge is in such a good stage that they even went in and tried to bail a project out, save a project. I think just that publicity alone was was worth it, you know, whether something comes out of this or not. Um, and yeah, I mean, we'll keep you guys posted as things advance. I know they had an AMA today with another project that was giving a proposal, but um, from some people who were listening to that, they DM'd me saying, um, 
that that project that was in there was literally just in there to shill their own project. So I don't know how that went, but I'm pretty sure the Shinja community understands how uh, valuable we can be to them and what type of value. I don't know exactly if they know what type of value they'll add to us. I can see the value they'll add to us in numbers, but other than that, I mean, no, nothing new, nothing new really. Um, we've gave our proposals and we're just waiting for, for them to, to answer. Um, I'm just forwarding a question to VC. Um, okay. Elon Vitalik from Telegram said, Hey, Leo, conflicting stories going around. Will the red NFTs come with general items, meaning the Shiba Doge NFTs, I do believe? Or will they be basically in their underwear and not equipped with anything? No, they, they will come with that you will be able to pick items. So when you breed, um, tell, tell Elon Vitalik, um, they will come with items, but when you breed tomorrow, when I make that video, that tutorial video on how to breed and how you get everything out of it, you guys will see exactly how it's done. Um, so I'll share that video. Uh, it'll be pretty much be a screen recording of me breeding and a screen recording, uh, a voiceover. I'll do a voiceover as well of me walking you guys through the entire process. Um, but yeah, you'll be able to equip you when you're minting your NFT, you choose your loadout, you choose what you want to start with. Whatever you don't choose, you'll be displayed with a bunch of different options of what you can choose. But whatever you don't choose gets discarded. So what you do choose gets equipped to your NFT. And then when you mint it, the the NFT will have everything that you've chosen on. And then you can literally go to your um your inventory and remove them if you don't want to. So when you mint, uh, your NFT will come equipped with everything that you've chosen. And then if you, if you wish to make it naked, you can just go in there and take everything off. But um, when you mint it, it won't be naked. Okay. Thank you. I'll forward that. Sure. Hi. Oh, uh, draw live. Got, got it. Hello. Sorry. Uh, I've got a question. Can you hear me? Yep, we hear you. Go ahead. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, this is Drip. Um, so you've mentioned bloodlines before, <clears throat> um, but I had a question regarding it. So if you have a Doge General and uh, a Shiba uh, Marine, so one less rare uh, tier than the Doge General, um, if you breed them together, um, would the Shiba Doge that's that's created be part of the like the the highest bloodline other than the um maybe the one of ones or do you need a general and a navy seal bred together to get to the highest bloodline so so you don't necessarily need it um it, it does give you a better chance of getting the highest bloodline by breeding the highest ranks but like let's say you have a general and you don't have another general to breed it with just you could go with the next in line so it's like even if you breed a general with a private you could still get the rarest uh the highest blood rank it's just right. the higher ranks you breed the higher chance you get so um yeah if you were to, to do like a um what did you say you have a general and a what general and a marine and a marine yeah so you should be you should be okay like i, I that's something like i, I it's, the the answer is completely up to you whether you want to do it or not but if i were in your shoes like i would i would breed that without without too much worry but if you can get two generals for example then i mean that's always that's better for sure but if if, if not then i mean you'll be fine all right thanks yep cool yeah no worries hello yep what's up bro I was going to ask you about the crates because um, I never got to like care about it because I was working and I got caught up and I know I missed like a lot of stuff like after the crates. Sure. What did you want to know about the crates? Like, is it released yet? No, no. the crates will release on, in 10 days on the 23rd. Okay, thank you. No problem.
how do we know if we made it to the whitelist? Um, good question. I believe uh, you should have it, gotten a notification on Discord. Also, they would uh, put it under your name. By the time the 1,000 fills up, they put it under your profile in Discord. Oh, yeah, yeah. You'll get it on, you'll get a role. You'll get a role on your Discord name that would show that you're, you're whitelisted. Yeah. And you also get some extra channels. Yeah. Like, like, see, um, I clicked through a few people's names. 69, if you click 69kg's name in Discord, you can see he has that whitelisted role. And also, guys, be very careful, like, with DMs, clicking links, or, like, anything like that. Like, only follow the stuff that's put out by our team or by us in public Discord channels. Like, if anyone DMs you pretending to be us or telling you to click something or whatever, don't do it. If you get scammed, the only person responsible is you. There are scammers out there, guys. Be careful. I mean, this isn't news. This isn't anything new. I just want to emphasize it. Like, I always emphasize it almost every AMA, but people still tend to get scammed. But, I mean, just be careful. Hey, Leo, how are you, brother? Doing good, bro. How about you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Thank you. Um, I missed most of the VC. I just finished work, actually. Question for you. Um, with regards to the brief, is, so, will there be a specific um, website platform where when you link your wallet it brings up what Shiva Doge and what Doge army you have and yeah will it show the ranking of each of which one you can choose and and whatnot? Yes it will here. Um I'll actually take a screenshot right now and, and send it in the main chat. Give me two seconds. All right, so I'm gonna make dinner. Let me know when you're done. Yes, you're the reason why I'm asking is because I know when you're explaining it, it seems so complicated of how it's going to be done, especially with the crates and switching, like putting different armors on, different stuff on. Yeah. No, no, no. Our, 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 our website will pretty much make everything super simple. It'll be like it'll be like a video game. Like it'll be very easy to understand. If you look at the Discord chat right now, you'll see. Uh, I couldn't screenshot the whole page because I had to scroll scroll down, but um, you'll see it shows me I have 10 collected Shiva armies and then 10 collected Doge armies, which would show all the portraits and their ranks underneath. And then um, here, I'll go to the breeder and I'll like show you how that's done over there too. So I want to breed these guys. Let me take a screenshot of this. Bang. All right. So if you look at the, the general chat now, like now I went to the breed the breeder and I chose two NFTs and then I'll go ahead and I'll I'll breed these two real quick and show you guys what comes out of it. Uh will it be in the same uh war zone? website when it does go live it'll be on our domain yeah so we'll, it, it, it's a little bit different but we'll we'll um it'll still be connected to our domain for sure just making sure because i saw warzone in the screenshot yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll explain what that is later on but here i just went ahead and bred them so as you could see like now it shows, I can't screenshot the whole page because I got to scroll down, but like, see, it's, t it's telling me to pick my weapons, my backgrounds. So let's say I want to put on the, the knife, put on the fire background. I'll send you guys a screenshot of what, what this comes out to right now and then. Let's put that earring on. Let's use the carbon fiber. Actually, 
Yo, what's up, buddy? Yeah, quick question. Um, which again, I just I was just asking you that question. So, when you're breeding, every breed that you make, like for instance, like how you have that one that you're doing right now. Yeah. And if if you were to do two other different ones, will it come with different traits, or that depends on your ranking, or they're all standard? Yeah, traits it depends. It depends on the ranking that you get. Um, but there will be like general traits um, that that will come on on every one of them. But then after you could go into the armory and based on your ranking, choose like specific traits and claim those. Oh no way! That's awesome. So basically, when you go in the armory, um, it will only let you know what you're available to collect based on your ranking. Exactly, or... based on your ranking. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's awesome, man! Thank you so much for answering that question. Yeah, for sure, man. Here, I'll go ahead and um, let me send the next one. So this is this is the final product of of what came out. This is what I selected. It's just like random stuff that I selected, but. That first NFT, that naked NFT that I showed you guys pretty much just became that. And you can see the bloodline on the bottom, which is a rebel slash uh, faction leader. Or um, actually, it doesn't show you the bloodline because this is on the test net, but the rank is a rebel flat faction leader on this one. That's sick, man. Yeah. So so you'll have like an inventory like this, right? So it'll show you all of the stuff that you've collected. There's just a lot of cool shit, guys. It's, I mean, we, we've spent a lot of time, money, and resources in building this thing out. We wanted to make sure it's uh, next level. And it really is next level. Like there's not, nothing out there. No, no NFT project out there that's done it to this level. And honestly, I don't even think any Web2 projects that have done it to this level. And I think the integration that we're going to have moving forward is going to be very powerful, too. I have a quick question in regards yep. to the uh, the crate drops that uh, get dropped into our thing with the Freemints thing. Um, would that be like just random rarities of items? Because I saw, like, it mentioned, like, myth yeah, and all so, that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So if you mint a crate, it'll open into a random item, right? That random item could be a common item, or it could be a mythic, which is a very, very rare, or it could be a one-of-one, one, or it could be a legendary. We don't know. Um, nobody knows until they reveal. So, yeah. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't based on our rank. No, no, no. That's not based on any any rank or anything. That's just based off okay. of that crate revealing into something. Okay, thank you. Hey, Leo, me again. Um, you know the one that you just bred as an example there. Say, for instance, you decided to put that on OpenSea to sell, and someone mm -hmm. buys. Are they able to go and change different armory and clothes and whatnot if they want to? It's not locked. So if you sell. Uh, um, an NFT everything that's equipped at the time that you sell it will sell with it right if you wish to just sell like let's say like you have a a, a rare gun that you want to sell right you can you can list that gun by itself right you could just like unequip it and then list it as just a gun itself and, and sell it on OpenSea or you can equip it and have that be the only thing equipped on your your Shiba Doge and um, sell your entire Shiba Doge with the gun uh, or whatever other items you have equipped. But yeah, I mean, if you buy an item on OpenSea, everything that's equipped on it, you will get with it. Oh, okay, okay. And if I was to buy one that's bred, like that came with whatever is equipped with it, I'm able to still buy or even access more equipables to equip it yeah exactly so like let's say let's say you're trying to get the highest rank shiba doge right just so you can access the armory and and claim those high ranked um collectibles every week then then yeah you could just buy one off OpenSea and then use that to, to go and claim stuff from the armory every week oh okay okay 
that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Sure, no problem. And by the way, Leo, just just um just want to say something to you. You are a great leader. Don't doubt yourself ever. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. One thousand percent. Never don't. Never don't <laughs> believe in yourself. <laughs> I love that meme. <laughs> <clears throat> all right guys um if there's any other questions let's um let's get them out the way if not we can wrap this up and i want to get back on some calls with with these guys and, and see where we're at as far as progress and kind of you know push them to to finish things up and finish this optimization um Someone was asking, uh, will there be a whale whitelist and is it happening? If it is. Um, I, I don't know if there'll necessarily be, be one yet. Um, we brought it up. We talked about it. Um, we do want to do something, um, but we're like literally 10 days away. So if it does happen, it'll be a surprise and we'll announce it like within the next few days if we do do it. Um, if it doesn't happen on this time around, you know, we, there are more collectibles that we'll release in, in the near future and we, we can always implement them then. But let's make one thing clear. We do like to reward our community members. We do like to reward our whales. Um, you guys know we've always liked to do that. So um, we'll get creative on how we can we can do something for you guys. Uh, hopefully we can implement some kind of whitelist for, for our whales. But um, we mentioned it in our last meeting and we said we'd talk it through. Uh, but I'm not going to lie, we've been so busy with, with uh, trying to get um, this pretty much week all, all said, and, said and done that we haven't talked more about it. But in the next few days, we'll talk more about it. And if it does happen, it'll be a it'll be a last minute announcement. And then what would be considered a whale in exactly those are it? Those, yeah. those are the those are the things that we need to we need to talk through. Okay. I just feel like I should be doing advocating since no one else has volunteered so far. <laughs> Except for yeah, no worries, uh, man. Thank general you. Attack. Yeah. Yeah. No, we I appreciate it's, that. These are questions it, it from does Telegram. Give these are questions from Telegram that I'm seeing in general chat. Gotcha. Like yeah, our Discord and... chat is popping too, by the way, man. Our Discord chat was is more active than than the Telegram chat was today, which was a nice surprise. So popping, maybe we growing. TD also had a question. Did you decide the minimum NFTs in the wallet to get whitelisted? That was I don't the question think that matters. I asked earlier. Yeah. That was the question I asked well, earlier because I think it has to do with like the whale whitelist. No, the people who are, were whitelisted. So how many you can it can uh, get w when you are on whitelist? I think. Oh, when you're on the white. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, I got you. So, so if you get whitelisted, you're you pretty much get you get one NFT, right? So for each whitelist, you just you you're able to mint one. We're right saying time. the minimum, not the maximum. So I have a feeling it's having to do with like the whale whitelist that was being talked about. That's what I was saying. Well, last week it was uh, if you had 30 NFTs, could you be whitelisted? Do you remember? Or the last day? Right. Of yeah. Oh, that's the question you guys are yeah. referring to. Yeah. Exactly. So that's the that's what that's what we need to that's what we need to finalize and talk through with the guys and see what we're doing on that end because we don't know whether whether or not we're going to do that even. And then if we are going to do it, like, what's the number, right? Is it going to be 10 pairs? Is it going to be 30? Is it going to be 50? Like, those are, that's just things we got to discuss. So we'll do that this week and, and see what, what's going on on that end. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. And, like, if we do end up doing it, it, it could be, like, a, it could be as simple as, hey, you don't even need to get whitelisted. Like, we're just going to airdrop it to you guys. You, you get what I'm saying? Like, make it easy. So we'll talk all those details through and, and we'll figure it out. Someone's asking about a diamond hand whitelist in Telegram. <laughs> um, 
I don't know what that means. Uh, for the diamond hand. Uh, oh, I got you for not for not selling. Yeah, no, we can make we can make a whitelist out of everything, right? It just uh, yeah, we, we're not going to do I that. Think it, <laughs> I think it would be a little much, in my opinion. But basically, the diamond the diamond hand people would be like the hardcore whales, in my understanding. Excuse me. Yeah, no, I, I think we're, look, I think we're good, guys, as far as, like, the way that we've done things. The only thing we're considering is, is to reward our whales, right, um, with, with the with the whitelist. So we're going to talk that through still. But other than that, I mean, there will be different opportunities here and there. Like, you know, right now we have the, the mint one get a crate. If you mint a Shiba Army get a crate whitelist thing going, uh, I mean, airdrop thing going, there will be different things that might pop up over the next few days, too. So just keep your eyes open and, and um, you know, you might be in for a surprise. But there are still 400 whitelist spots available right now. And, I mean, yeah. uh, you guys can definitely me. get on that. Um, I have a question. Um, How much NFTs you have to have to be considered or well? We don't know yet. We haven't discussed that yet, man. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Someone's asking if the Vitalik um, NFT has been minted yet, and well, 69 kg just answered that. Um, I I have a question as well. Um, sure. When it when it comes to the um, when it comes to the uh, likelihood of um the whale uh and stuff whitelist what do you think um is the likelihood of that in terms of like because you guys have already said there's only 8888 um crates for the whitelisting you right i i'm trying to figure like would it be like probably like the top 200 top 100 well, well, that's the thing. Like, like, like I said, we haven't really even discussed whether we're going to be doing it or not. The the only thing that we brought up is the only thing is that I brought up that it was mentioned by the community that they want to see that. But we've just been so swamped with everything else that we haven't had a chance to discuss the the, the details or even if we are going to do that to begin with. So, you know, those that there isn't any clear answers to those questions just yet because that's still stuff we have to talk through. So it's Monday, yeah? Yeah, yeah. it's Monday. <laughs> yeah. The only reason I'm asking is because in my suggestion, and this is just purely like from what I've seen, it would probably be best to like try and make it like within that 888 out of the 8,888 maybe. That's my suggestion. Like maybe we do like... 333 or 888 you know whatever yeah, like, yeah. i mean that, we'll that would make sense out. depending yeah. on how many holders we have of the nfts but i feel like even if we did like 333 yeah you know, i mean we'll figure that, it that'd out be, I think that'd be basically be, most yeah. most of the whales <laughs> yeah i mean we have we have much bigger um things to tackle than than figuring those numbers out to be to be honest but um, we will have a discussion with the rest of the team regarding that topic and see if that's something that we're going to want to even do to begin with and what the numbers would look like if we did choose to do it. Um, but everyone is aware we did we did bring it up um, after that one AMA where you guys brought it up. So we just have to get into a more detailed discussion about it and see if it's something that we're going to do. Because, I mean, honestly, guys, there's still there's still 400 whitelist slots available right now to claim the old fashioned way. So I want to get too caught up on anything just yet. And then let's um, be reminded that this is a free mint at the end of the day. It is a free mint. And um, you guys will be able to get your hands on it as long as you're you're there on time to to mint one. Um so, so yeah. Easy. That's I do have a suggestion. Sorry, I have. A, I just have a suggestion around the um, whole situation with the whales because we are getting close to the date. Um, what if like the whales got like an extra 
uh, airdrop from the admins or whatever in terms of like the like a secondary crate drop. That could also be an option yeah, in the I future. Mean, it's, it's a it, it's a good suggestion. Is, is it something that we would do like now with this drop? That's well, I, I mean, like know, after after but... this drop, like if after this drop, if we are sold out, let's just say, which we probably will be, like the top, let's throw out a number there, two hundred people in the NFT holders would get like a specialty. Uh, crate that holds like at least a rare ish item not common right yeah i mean that's a good suggestion and i I think those are all things that we can consider moving forward um but but right now it's like we have a we have a game plan to execute and i do want to remind you guys that this is an evolving like collection right there will be more stuff that is added there will be more um features that are going to be implemented there will be more artwork that is added uh, as time progresses. I think right now we're at over 200 and something different pieces of artwork just just on the collection alone. So there's a lot to begin with and there will be a lot more to, to, to come. So we can always, always do special things like how you recommended for you know certain parts of uh, the community, whether they're whales or diamond handers or, or whatever. We can always have cool little fun events and one-off things um, in the future, but as of right now, I, I definitely don't want to, to to fill my plate more than I can chew with the current workload that we have of getting this thing out um, and released to you guys is number one priority. And then once it's, the product is actually released, then we can actually get a little bit more creative on how we're gonna kind of like interact with the community and, and get cool stuff to them moving forward. But Number one priority right now is to not lose focus and and continue to to push on um, getting these products released and out to you guys because uh, we've been spending a lot of time, money, and resources over the past six, seven months, eight months to 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 get this right. So to get to this point. So understood. Yeah. Um, Elon Vitalik also suggested. Um, instead of like a top whales or in addition to, or whatever, well, if it was like the top breeders get like a special crate because that would give more demand for the ones that aren't bred, but also it means as he quotes it, less virgin, uh, NFTs. <laughs> so that means more yeah. use of the breeder. Um, that it's undecided. Yeah. Right we, now. We, we, yeah, it's, it's undecided, I'm, I'm just, but but that's a good. We'll we'll probably airdrop like chastity belts to the top breeders or something to equip on their. <laughs> on their uh, I don't know. That's it. <laughs> I I was actually thinking about that to an extent as well. So I feel like, as even though I'm probably not going to be a top breeder by a long stance, because I only have two NFTs. Um, right. I, I yeah, still I mean, feel those like are like, a great th- way. Those are, yeah, those are all things we can we can always do at any time, any time in the future. Like it's not anything that needs to happen at launch. Um, and that's, that's why always I'm something that can too. be implemented. That's right. why I'm also specifying too. Like it can happen after the armory goes live by like a week or two or whatever. Like it's completely yeah. up to you guys. I'm just making suggestions. And I hope that's good enough for our community that we are looking forward to something that might happen in the next three or four weeks or whatever. Yeah, no, definitely, man. You have definitely had a lot of great suggestions and I could, I could tell off the bat you're a community man because you, everything you did suggest like kind of um, correlated with different parts of the community. So I, I definitely commend you for for being creative and thinking outside of the box and i mean you know i i, I definitely love it I, I i like the way people think and and bring those types of suggestions to the table and that's what honestly motivates us too and brings new ideas to to us because uh i always say you know 10 minutes be are better than an one hour and 10 minutes okay make one more suggestion it's not by any means like Sure. Yeah, make this. Yeah, let's make this suggestion too, and then we'll go ahead and call okay. it wraps after that. I was just gonna suggest um, for those that 
not 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 necessarily including all the shillers, but like the shiller community plus like those that like um like myself for instance i've done like a couple youtube videos on my shorts that i've posted and sent to roof to give to the telegram community for instance for those that do that um type of thing and have like the proof to show it i would su- i would suggest that um in addition to like the showing community we would also get like May something having to do with like the NFT side of things, because not all of us are, you know, whales. But not, but we're not also something to kind of like sneeze at either, because we're trying to get things out there to the world. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely, man. And and look, one of the biggest points of why we even uh, are so bullish on on the EFT collection to begin with is because it gives us those opportunities to be able to reward people in ways that they can actually appreciate it. And that will be specific to the type of role that they play in the ecosystem, right? So, um, you know, whether that's with brand deals and us brand uh, partnering with different brands or, or rewarding the community with like, let's say we give the Schillers a megaphone or something, right? Like a, a collectible. Um, that's one of the main reasons why we like the EFT so much is because we're able to bring uh, so much uh, customization and creativity to to the game with, with what we're doing. So. Um, I do personally think that uh, you're going to be seeing a lot of lot of that happen in the future with how how uh, EFTs are implemented and how it gives people an identity um, moving forward. Um, and yeah, so I hope that answers your question. Yeah, for a uh, all, uh, one last uh, request from me specifically. I think we need a jetpack EFT if you guys don't already have one in the works because we're going to the moon and we're definitely not walking there. <laughs> I love it. All right. We'll add that to the list of things, man. And we'll see if it makes right. the cut. <laughs> All right. Leo, Thank you. I, one question before you leave, but I know you want to go. You got things to do. Quick question. Um, with, the, with regards to the crates, say, for instance, I have a crate. Is there like an open, once you open the crate, you see what's inside? Or if you don't open it, you don't see what's inside? Like, say, for instance, you want it to put it on. Don't know what's inside. No, no, no. So, so they'll, all, they'll all release, I mean, reveal at the same time. Um, so you don't have an option of keeping it closed. But on the flip side, if your crate stays closed while everyone else's is revealed, don't freak out. It, there are, I believe, 10. I believe there are 10 crates in there that are going to stay closed for a longer period of time. If you get one of those crates that doesn't open uh, at the time everyone else's does, that just means you've got one of the best items in the collection. One of the rarest items in the collection, I should say. Um, it will be a guaranteed super rare item. Um, it, it will take a lot longer to reveal, but... If you have one of those crates that doesn't open uh, when the others do, then you're you should be happy. <laughs> Damn it, Leo! Why do you keep doing this to us, man? Every time there's always that one thing in there that is like, oh man, that's awesome! I love, <laughs> I love yeah, the way the little it's on the side. it's the little Easter eggs, man. And that's the thing is like people who are not paying attention, right? Like people who don't know might have that crate and be like, oh, mine didn't open and just list it for like a stupid cheap amount and somebody will buy it. And, you know, but that's the thing. Always do get, get familiarized with the projects that you're in because those little key details are what can make or break you, you know? So it's good to attend these AMAs or even read uh, the pinned messages every now and then because there are some Easter eggs at all times. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much for answering that. I hope you enjoy your evening, Leo. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Anything else, guys? Any other any other questions? Just want to thank you, Leo. No problemo. Cool. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and call it wraps here. I think this was uh, an amazing AMA. Uh, Thank you guys all for joining. Um, we saw a lot of growth on our Discord. I think we got 
over a thousand people or close to a thousand people joined the Discord just today alone. So very excited about that. <clears throat> we'll do more uh, AMAs moving forward in here, but I uh, believe this week um, we're not going to do an AMA on Thursday. We're going to do it on Wednesday instead, and it's going to be on Twitter Spaces. Um, I'll be hosting it on Twitter Spaces. I'll share the details on that um, in, in a pinned message once I have more details. But I, I have, um, yeah, I have a few things to attend on Thursday, which is why we rescheduled it to Wednesday instead. But we'll, we'll still be doing it. And I think we're going to have Monday's AMA next week in a Twitter space, too. So we'll keep you posted on that um, as things progress. But we do want to do more Twitter spaces because there is a lot of engagement on Twitter spaces right now. And I, I believe we'll see a lot of new faces move in there, too. Um, you know, we like to change it up every now and then. We don't like to just pick one platform and stick to it at all times. Uh, it's better to go uh, hop around and, and kind of like, you know, create a fuss here and there and whatever. So, yeah, um, we'll leave it at that. As always, guys, if you miss Doge, that sucks. If you miss Shiva, that also sucks. If you miss everything else that's going on in the Shiva Doge ecosystem, then unfortunately, I can't help you because you suck. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. I love you all. I'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys need anything, just at me in the chat. Um, keep your eyes open for a pinned message. Um, we'll, we'll give you guys an update like 12 hours before the, breeder, the breeding goes live. Um, tomorrow, I'll have a video tutorial for you guys, too, in the chat. So... Keep your eyes open for that. It's super simple. You guys will figure it out with a tutorial or not. But I'm going to make one anyway because I know people are going to ask. So anyway, love you guys. Peace. Love. Peace.